Well, it is a beautiful spring day here in the Northland and maybe, just maybe, we might hit 70 degrees today. So do you have, have any nights where uh, you wake up in the middle of the night and you just can't go back to sleep? Yeah, you know, I think we all do. And I wanted to give you today several things that I do when I wake up in the middle of the night and can't go back to sleep. Well, the first thing I try to always do is not to get annoyed at my not being able to sleep. And I also try at least intellectually to tell myself this is time that is given me from God and that sometimes God speaks to me during these times when I'm awake at night. So one thing that I do if I'm facing some kind of a problem with a presentation, maybe it's a how to teach the kids in children's church or, or, um, or a message or one of these thoughts of the week, I present the issue to God. I tell him all about it, what the problem is, why I think it's a problem, what the alternatives might be. And sometimes God will show me the solution to the problem. And oftentimes he even gives me the exact words to say. You know, another thing that I do, I do this thing called an acrostic of thanksgiving and praise. And when I can't sleep, I will praise God and thank God through the alphabet. Sometimes I just pick a letter. So I'll say the letter L, and I'll think about everything I can think about to thank God that starts with the letter L. And then everything that I want to praise about God that starts with the letter L. Now, for instance, I say, God, I thank you for Linda. And I thank you for my sister, Lois. I thank you that for life, and I thank you that you are the giver of life, and you are love, and you love me, and so forth. And sometimes God will give me great insight through those prayers, and other times I just fall back to sleep. Another thing I'll do is I will ponder scripture. You know, things that we all have memorized, like uh, the Lord's Prayer uh, or the 23rd Psalm, and I'll go through every word, every thought, and try to understand what does that mean? What does it mean to lie down in green pastures? What, do you, what does it mean when the Lord's Prayer says um, uh, to lead us not into temptation? And there are some other verses that I like very much, like there's a verse in the Revelation that says this, it says, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, the Almighty who was, and who is, and who is to come. And I ponder over those words. Well, your assignment for today, for this week, is when you can't sleep tonight, consider spending some time with God. Well, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Aloha, see you there. And please, 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 when you can't sleep, don't get annoyed. Maybe God wants to spend some quality time with you. God bless.